Quick start adding a cycles material. We have finished our texture and we have loaded it. But I told you earlier that this is just a temporary solution to create the UV layout and the texture. When you render the image, then you will see that the texture is missing at the object. Let me show you this. The object shows white. What we need here is a material. So what is a material? A material is a container that contains everything needed to display the surface of our object. Shaders for example and different texture types like our diffuse texture here or a normal map. Such a material has to fit to the render engine. Every renderer works a bit different. Blender has two renderers. Cycles and Blender internal. This is the Cycles renderer, this is the Blender internal. You cannot use a Cycles material in Blender render and you cannot use a Blender material in Cycles. When you want to render in Cycles, then you need a Cycles material. We will use Cycles renderer for our image and so we will create a material for Cycles. First make sure that we use the Cycles renderer. Switch to Cycles. We have used the Blender renderer for our texture tests and this will not fit. Then let's switch to the Materials tab here. And create a new material. The normal way would lead us to the Compositor now. This is this layout here. And as you can see, we have created a material with a diffuse node now. We want to have a texture at our table, so we need to add a texture node. It is in the Texture tab, Image Texture. Click, drag. A second drag releases the node. We need to connect the Image Texture node with the Diffuse node. And then let's load our texture. Let's have a look here, material. Now we have a result here and let's render it, F12. And now the renderer shows the material at the object. We have added a material in Cycles Render.